Hello friends! In today's video, we are going to review the novel The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd, The Secret Life of Bees. A journey of self-discovery, steeped in honey and hope, Sue Monk Kidd's The Secret Life of Bees is a captivating novel that transcends the boundaries of genre. Set against the backdrop of the racially charged American South in 1964, it weaves a poignant tale of a young girl's search for identity, forgiveness, and a sense of belonging. Lily Owens, our 14-year-old protagonist, is haunted by the blurry memory of her mother's death. Raised by her emotionally distant father, T. Ray, in a peach farm devoid of love, Lily finds solace in the mysterious presence of bees that seem inexplicably drawn to her. One impulsive act of defiance fueled by racial tension and a desperate yearning for connection forces Lily to flee her oppressive home. Guided by a passage from her deceased mother's beekeeping manual, Lily embarks on a journey with Rosaline, T. Ray's kind but outspoken African-American maid. Together, they head south towards Tiburon, South Carolina, a place marked on the page with the cryptic inscription, Augustus. Tiburon turns out to be a haven for Lily. She finds herself on the doorstep of the Boatwright Sisters, an unconventional trio of black women who run a honey farm. August Boatwright, the eldest and most stern, initially hesitates to take Lily in. However, May, the middle sister with a poetic spirit, and June, the youngest and most impulsive, welcome Lily with open arms. Amidst the buzzing hives and the sweet scent of honey, Lily finds a sense of belonging she never knew existed. The Boatwright sisters become her surrogate mothers, each offering a unique perspective on life, womanhood, and faith. August, a strong and independent woman scarred by her own past, teaches Lily the art of beekeeping, a symbolic act that represents taking control of one's destiny. May, a soulful artist, introduces Lily to the power of storytelling and the beauty of forgiveness. June, full of youthful exuberance, embodies the spirit of rebellion and encourages Lily to embrace her true self. Lily's arrival coincides with the annual honey harvest, a time of community celebration and deep spiritual significance for the Boatwright sisters. Through their rituals and stories, Lily learns about the history of black culture in the South, the resilience of the human spirit, and the healing power of the natural world. As Lily delves deeper into the Boatwright family's past, she uncovers a hidden truth about her own mother's connection to August. This revelation serves as a catalyst for her emotional growth, allowing her to finally confront the trauma of her mother's death and begin to forgive her father. The novel masterfully explores themes of racial prejudice, family dynamics, female empowerment, and the power of faith. The racial tensions of the era are subtly woven into the narrative, providing a historical context for the character's experiences. Lily's journey of self-discovery is deeply intertwined with her growing understanding of the struggles faced by the black community in the South. Sue Monk Kidd's prose is rich with sensory details, transporting the reader to the sun-drenched fields of Tiburon and the fragrant interiors of the Boatwright Sisters' Honey House. The novel is also infused with a sense of Southern Gothic mystery, with secrets slowly being unraveled as Lily pieces together the puzzle of her past. The Secret Life of Bees is more than just a coming-of-age story. It's a testament to the enduring power of love, the strength found in community, and the transformative potential of forgiveness. It's a story that lingers long after the last page is turned, leaving a sweet taste of hope and a newfound appreciation for the beauty and complexity of life. Thoughts on the video. Which elements would you like me to include more in the video? Would you like to share your own ideas and comments about the book? Would you like to receive book recommendations in a similar genre? Don't forget to share your opinions and suggestions in the comments. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.